All right, the brownies. Everyone loves the Browns. Is it really possible to hate the Cleveland Browns? I suppose if you're a Broncos fan, you could, but, you know, the Browns are just, they're just likable. <laughs> but anyhow, first things first, the people do not want to see Josh McCown. The people want to see some Johnny football. And that's what we're going to do. Eighty six, seventy seven, sixty five. Eighty six we can live with. Seventy seven, sixty five is very dicey. But hey, you know, that's what's gonna happen when you're a drunken lush in the huddle, but what can you do? Duke Johnson. Wow, they're young as hell. My goodness. Good speed, good acceleration. Elusive. Not really a power guy, just a shifty dude who can catch the ball. I'm getting all these backs I can catch. <laughs> Only problem is, I wish I had a power back to kind of complement that, but I don't really see one here. You got Isaiah Crowell. Basically the same type of... Nah, yeah, he can actually truck some. So, okay, that's what I like to have. If I have a, a bat that can be put in the slot at the half as his backup, a power guy, it just goes perfectly. Full bat looks to be an ugly affair. Can catch at least. It's just so hard to throw to them. It's really hard to stay committed to staying under center. Travis Benjamin. Let's stretch the field. Catching and route running and all that good stuff is kind of meh. Got Josh Gordon. Brian Hartline is still kicking around, huh? I need Josh Gordon outside. Gives me some nice speed out there. And he gives me a um, spec catch threat down the field. Got to have someone who can at least scare someone a little bit out there. 88 jumping and 87 spec catch. Line in the slot, that 88 catching traffic and 83 route running. And the rest of the guys are pretty much interchangeable here it looks like not gonna sweat that too much maybe I should uh, 78 to 80 83 76 to 79 uh, yeah they're pretty much the same guy Harry Barnage not a bad tight end Not bad. We can do things with that. EJ Bibbs. Nah, he didn't. He's not as promising as I thought he would be. Looking at his catch ratings. Traffic 77. Can he block a little bit? Yeah. Joe Thomas, the best left tackle in the sport. It for a long time at a higher level. Offensive line is pretty good, actually. That pass blocking scares me. Alex Mack. You know, pretty solid. Mitchell Schwartz. Could be a lot worse. On defense, playing 3-4. I don't, I'm never comfortable. I've never been comfortable with the 3-4 in this game. It's got some schematic problems. But, you know, got to make the best of it. 
block shedding is kind of light. It gives me a bit of a pass rush, so we can live with that. I, su I suppose I don't have I don't really have anyone better to put there. Not a, whole, not a whole heck of a lot of depth on this team as you'd expect. That's really the best I got. On the other side, we have Randy Starks. Strong. Thing is kind of light. Block shedding is good. Be a bit of a pass rush there. John uses a better tackler, but isn't much outside of that. So we'll stick with that. Danny Shelton for your CFM guys. He develops into a freaking animal. 93 strength. Lose. Five block shed. Barcavius Mingo. I thought Barcavius Mingo. I mean, he still has time. He's only been in the league a couple of years, but I thought he'd hit the ground running a little bit better. Remember Barcavius Mingo and Sam Montgomery in college? My gosh. I mean, those two were one of the better pairs of bookends I've ever seen at the college level. They're, I mean, right up there with um, Bull Ware and Andre Wadsworth of the Florida State days in the early 90s. They were, they were fierce. Yeah, not a great block shot, he's just kind of average. But again, it's not really better. So you just gotta live with him. Good athlete, though. Useful to spy. Carlos Dansby. Good player. Good player for a long time. Good coverage guy, too. Always been a good cover. I kind of want to play Kirksey. He's fast. He's strong. Not really strong. He's fast and he has good acceleration, I should say. That's great for a user. Good awareness, a better awareness than uh, Robertson. Tackling's not the same. Light on the hit power. Light on the block shed, but he can really cover well. Paul Kruger. One of the more underrated 3-4 rush outside linebackers in the league. Stout guy, tough guy. It's actually, it's actually does not look that bad defensively. It's not terrible. We got some corners here. Joe Hayden. Not the best year for Joe Hayden. Tremont Williams is okay. Play some man coverage. Jamal Williams is a little bit slow. That scares me a little bit. We may want to put him in the slot. Some of them out if there's a problem as far as speed goes down the field. 
But yeah, I can play some man one with these guys from you know here and there. Play some single high. But Sean Gibson's okay. 82 catching. Okay, I like that. You know, the zone coverage is kind of on the fringe there. We got Dante Hitmer. Loaded with hit power. And he has higher zone coverage than I thought he would. 83. Got good hit power, so I'm kind of better off playing him in the deep. Tayshawn Gibson. Kicks. This is going to just get him tired. Ew. 70 overall. Well, you know, the Browns. Vikings coming up on EA Sports. It's the Vikings again. Minneapolis, Minnesota. I wonder if this is the same guy. Back in your days when you had to take on a team from the AFC, didn't know them all that well. What was it like as we have this little interconference matchup today? Well, I thought back in those days, Jim, we were about ready to show them what toughness and hard hitting was. Uh, today it's a little different, but I'll tell you this, this NFC team, they are a hard hitting bunch. Yep, here comes a strong close parade. First down at the 20. <sighs> Gotta shut down that toss, first and foremost, out of that formation. No, it's not the same dude. I checked my last video, it's not the same guy, so. They went with the ground game on first down. Bringing up second. They'll hike it to him out of the shotgun. And he'll... <laughs> the Browns come out in a dime package. Bridgewater's going to take it from the gun. Oh, let's go. Let's go. That's going to bring up fourth down. First down at the 50. That doesn't help matters. Greenways all over the D line, all talking. I think they're expecting run. That's why the ship. Oh, good God. Quarterback. Oh, there's nothing worse as a quarterback first formation here for the defense. The Browns snap it at the 41. Scans the field. <laughs> Thanks for leaving all of this open space, but he fumbles. Brings the play to an end. When you play. I'm sure they're tired of being in the three and out business. Oh, that's a bad business to be in. I know. Ah. Doesn't like what he sees on the defensive side, so he is changing the play to the receiver. Oh. Okay, that's all right. Can really run for a defensive lineman, and he's going to be out. Send Hartline through there. Chad Greenway makes the that one. Just matriculate the ball down the field. The Browns come out at a two tight end set. Johnson. Ah, that's unfortunate. I'm going to go for it. Don't want any part of punting the football. They're going to go for it on fourth down. Out of the shotgun. Going for the deep ball. And that's why we got you, Josh Gordon. <laughs> Let's stay off the drugs. People don't understand with cover four. It's still one on one outside. So if I got 87 spec catch and you got like a 70 something zone coverage guy, it's still your ass. Gonna take the snap from 
the shotgun. The pass complete to Hartline. Second down and six. Johnson is going to take the little zone read. Snap it out of the gun. Got the complete. We got it. Johnson's second and goal from the four. Let's go. Phil work. First down at the 20. Peterson's taking the AP up the middle. At the 25 yard line. What in the world? No one's gonna get a man. That was cover six, fellas. I'll have to look at that one. Unless I screwed up an audible, which I don't think I did. That should never happen. Oh, let's go. I mean, someone's supposed to be in the middle of the field. It's quarters, quarters, has, for crying out loud. Let's go, let's go, let's go. He's averaging about three. Ready to make the stop on the goal. Chance of the Let's go. Goal line for the touchdown. With that defense on these last few possessions. Well, let me say this, Jim. It's not that easy to score points in the NFL. Not the way they're making it look. And they're confident. They're, they look like they're fast. They're fresh. They're rested. It's been fun to watch. First down at the 32. Yeah, that's way too predictable, buddy. He goes ahead and throws here for the defense from the gun. Look at that concentration. It's all right. The grab. Situation to go. Bridgewater's all by himself in the backfield for this snap. Right's got it. All right, can't have, him have any more of those. Scared sometimes for that slip. Here as they get set at the line. First down and ten. Should have had that one, but it goes incomplete. Got to give the defense a lot of, a lot of credit there, don't you, Jim? They are all over the receivers, all over the field, nowhere to throw it, and it just results in an incomplete. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Richwaters back in shotgun formation. Scanning the field. Nope. Nope. Jamal Williams says his job. Tackles made. What a great job by the defense coming up with to start the second half. First down at the 26. Griffin's the one who brings him to the ground. Staying with the passing game on first down. Makes the catch. Benjamin's tackled down after a gain of five. Coming up. Will go ground. Let's go, let's go. Right back to him once more. Ooh, I'll go for it again. And that's going to bring us to fourth down. I think these linebackers are moving around because they're gonna try to blitz. We're gonna go, we're gonna get it. Newman's there that time for the tackle. All right, come on, gentlemen. And eight. Let's go, Heartline. Let's go. Some heat on it. Well, when you have a tie game, you get rubs it across. Brownie's making it happen. And with the game, you got to deal with adversity when you're talking about football. So you made that mistake. Let it go and go out there, be aggressive, and see if you can score some points. Looking across. The ah! See, I had it. I cheated towards Diggs, so I had a linebacker on him. From the gun. Oh, got it. Oh, ho, 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 yo. that was close. The Vikings take it from the 30. Ah, I was on the wrong guy. Didn't get a chance to get on my person. I was too slow. You want to, and also it opens up so many other things for your offense. Let's go. The Vikings have it at the 24. Nope. Ah, almost. When you get down in the red zone, the offensive coordinator's got to call a play that deceives the defense. Let's see if he can do it. His team is down. He needs a big play here. He's got the catch. 
Okay, okay. Ooh, this is AP doing AP stuff. Hello, Seattle Playbook. Okay, let's do this. Football team, man, let them go and let them play and see if they can make it happen again. First down at the 20. Taken down at the 25 in this game. Johnson's hand at the football. Duke's running the ball nice. All right, we don't need to hurry. We've kept Johnny in the comfort zone for the most part. Lined up in a single back formation. Second down and five. He's wide open for the grab. Quarter. The Vikings set at the line. Dime package. Manziel's got it in the gun. Got it. Johnson. Let's go. The old Texas. Heat on it. Manziel's going to take it from the gun. Don't score. Don't score. The clear. Smith's there to take him down. It is a winning field goal on an afternoon we will... Let's go! Let's go! I can only imagine how... Brownies! When you've led the team down the field, and now you turn it over to a kicker. Johnny Foosball! You've been around that kicker all year long. You've watched him in practice. His locker is right next to you. Uh, so you have confidence that he, he can get it done in a big moment like this? And he did.